Hello beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for The Art of Living Show. Our guest today is Kenyan born, a businessman and a self-taught artist. He invites us to their spectacular property, the Renati House, to have a look around and to have a conversation. Question, what are you doing this Valentine's? Come with me, I'm gonna show you this incredible hidden gem that is one hour away from Nairobi. Let's discover, explore, and engage. This used to be my grandfather's car. Uh -huh. My mother actually went to school in this car. And even now, once in a while, when I can, I take this car out on a ride on a Sunday. It works. It works. Do I you take it to Kunkul's Delegance? No, I haven't taken it there yet because I'm still working on a project. I'm trying to make sure that it's perfect. So Chirimo was a Malawian artist who was... Milan? You no, said Malawian. Malawian. Okay. Malawian, an African artist. Mm -hmm. And this was actually one of the last pieces he ever did in 94, mm -hmm. before he passed. And it's a very 3D piece, so as long as you can see from here, mm -hmm. all that material there is actually dynamically in the piece. So it's actually textile, wow. it's actually 3D, okay. but also when you look at it, with that man in the shadow, Hand painted. Hand painted. Wow. That's it. Okay, so other than just coming here for weddings, um, lovers can come and spend the night here if you're married. You can come and work here and research here as well. Yeah. Revitalize yourself. Yes. Um, each room has different character, like yeah. you're saying, and it's unique in its own way yeah. and you're behind the look and feel of that space too yeah I, okay. every room was very much curated to make it a different experience because even when i come here mm -hmm. as much as i do have a favorite room yes. which i will not tell which it is please say no it. no 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 i'm not going to say it because i want you to come and experience each room and then maybe you can guess which one it is there's a reason why you said it's favorite why no just come and experience it then you'll understand why okay yeah all right i see so we're gonna go to the garden let's go to the garden oh, nice. So you created this gorgeous walkway yeah. that's so romantic. Indeed. This is actually the original driveway to the house. Uh -huh. And what we've done is we've tried to encourage people to use the bar parking lot so that especially when the bride comes she gets to enjoy this driveway oh lovely so this is as you said it's a walkway now in the sense that this is like a pavilion it's like a a very unique space because of all the trees and all the shrubs that create a cocoon for her so she feels like it's an enclave like she's like coming out of like a special place and that this is now when she comes into this space, mm -hmm. as we're walking to what is called the Jacaranda Garden, mm -hmm. with this immaculate tree, mm -hmm. this is now where she gets to present herself mm -hmm. to the world mm -hmm. as one of the future brides of this country. Oh la la. And so, just a fun fact, mm -hmm. a lot of these tree stumps that you're seeing right here mm -hmm. are actually from one of the biggest trees in this property, which is right there, over there. Is it? Yes. So when we had to trim it, instead of just getting rid of all the wood, mm -hmm. we thought, why don't we use it as stumps we can use mm -hmm. for the actual walkway. Oh, stunning. So instead of getting these rid of... These ones here, ones I'm right standing here. here. These oh. ones that we're standing on right now. Oh, whose tree. idea was that? Such a uh, clever idea. I guess between my mother and I, it may be mostly her idea. Yeah. Because we that's what we decided. Because we, we, us as a as a unit, we don't we don't like to have to buy new when we can recycle. I love that. So even like a lot of wood pieces that we have here, we make furniture out of it. Like I have a small little workshop in my garden where I make my own furniture. So most of the furniture in my own house was built with 
wood pieces that were used for construction and things like that. Because nah, there's okay. no need to buy new furniture when you can actually build something. Stunning. And that's also enjoying the artisan of the people around you and all the different crafts. That is very clever. Yes. Very, very clever. So this is my favorite tree. Uh-huh. Why is it your favorite? Because it's one of the oldest trees that we have on the property. Okay. And we call her Mama Jacaranda. Mama Jacaranda. So during November when Jacarandas bloom, uh -huh. there's a sea of purple around us. My good, it must be so and, beautiful. And, and you see the beauty about the color purple? Yes. The color of royalty. Oh, yes. And majesty. Yes. And that's why she's the queen. She's Mama Jacaranda. <laughs> So this is one of our main gardens. So we have jacaranda. Mm -hmm. Behind us we have frangipani. Mm -hmm. And over that side we mm -hmm. have what is pine. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's actually called pine mm -hmm. is because back in the day... Can we, can yeah, we, we have a look? Yeah, well, let's, go, let's go ahead. Okay. So this tree here is a, one of the biggest pine trees we have on the property. Mm -hmm. And actually one of the biggest pine trees I've ever seen in my life, period. Now, just to give you a bit of story. Mm -hmm. When this property was owned, was first bought back in the day, there was a Norwegian family mm -hmm. that actually managed the property in terms of all the farms around us, and the, and they brought this pine tree with them from Norway. Oh! So this tree has been here for over thirty years. It's a special tree. This is a very special tree. So this is like a very special pine tree. This place is so nostalgic. Yeah, and and th there's such a beauty to it because. All these other trees around us before like the maybe the 1970s did not exist. Mm -hmm. So one time there was a guy who used to live here as a child. He was maybe maybe 12 years old when he lived here in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And he was explaining to me that when he grew up here, you could literally see Nairobi below us. Wow. So Nairobi is below us mm -hmm. and to the west, this direction, mm -hmm. or technically the north, mm -hmm. that is where Gong Hills is. And on a clear day, you can actually see the windmills on Gong Hills. So that's this place is a very special place. Like this is my sanctuary. This is like my favorite place. And I, I appreciate it because when it's a quiet time like this, like a date today, yes. just come out here with your book, your journal, yes. or even just have a couple of friends you won't have a conversation with. Yeah. A cup of tea, maybe some wine, whatever. Yeah. You can talk about your issues in life. Yes. And I always feel rejuvenated, especially when I walk around barefoot and I just can feel my feet in the ground. Yeah. It's very special. Oh, that is sounds so and hence the name. Remarkable. And yeah. Hence the name. Mm -hmm. Serenity. Where Zen mm -hmm. meets serenity. I see. Serenity. It's so serene like you've rightfully said, so remarkable. And just one question, can people just walk in? Well, for the most part you can, but we prefer it if you made a booking. Mm -hmm. So henceforth, we can actually arrange an experience for you. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the meals, when it comes to even like if you want a room set up for you, mm -hmm. if you want even a fireplace, or even just want to have a fireplace outside, like a, like a, just like a bonfire kind of situation. So yes, you can walk in, but we do prefer if you call us in advance so we can actually manicure and create an experience for yourself. Okay, so you prefer people to make a booking? Yeah, yeah. Before, you, so you just can, no, you can walk in, but it's much better when you call us in advance because we want to create a special experience because this is not a, just about, this is not just a place you just come in and there's whatever meal you want to have. If we can do it for you and make it special for you, even if you just want to come by yourself as a group of people, as a group of individuals, whatever the case may be, let us take care of you. That's what we're here to do. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. So, um, just like you rightfully said, you know, guys, you can come here and make a booking. Make a booking first, come here, mm -hmm. enjoy with your friends. You can have a picnic here. Mm -hmm. um, you can come and be yourself, write your journal, mm -hmm. write your book, mm -hmm. recharge on this enchanting learn right behind us yes. that has been taken care of over 20 years over created 20 years. by this genius no with my mother too yeah don't forget her she yeah i know to, she's i know the magic. She's certainly the magic. Yeah. you're you're the, you're, the, you're the guy behind her <laughs> yeah, yeah she is an enigma i must yes. say because creating this beauty yes. and and uh being a kenyan woman we are very proud of her yes indeed i must say because um 
this is our heritage, this is our land, mm -hmm. and we get to enjoy this. So guys, mm -hmm. you don't have to be stuck in the city. Come mm -hmm. yes. and enjoy this beautiful space. Um, and we're gonna meet her and talk to her about this special place that I have fallen in love with. I must come back and we'll know how to book. We'll get all those details later. Yeah. But before that, talk to me about your podcast. Because oh. I know that's something you're very passionate about. Um, then you can wow. introduce me to your mom. Just <laughs> okay, briefly. Cool. Yeah. Uh, my podcast is called Bench Warmers. It's a sports podcast. I do it with my co-host called Lavin Asego. Okay. He used to play for Kenya. Uh, he was a rugby player. Mm -hmm. And now he's into golf heavy. Yes. And I'm kind of this is a sad and also very impressed because I introduced him to the game and now he's better than me already. And that's kind of annoying. But nonetheless, Ben Chomas is a podcast and let's me introduce my mom. Oh, are you married? No, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've had such a fantastic time at Zerenity House and the gardens. Um, joined by Mama the Phenomenal. <laughs> she is such an enigma. She runs this amazing space. Susan, thank you so much for having us. And Caroline, the manager. So they're going to talk to us on how we can get to enjoy. I mean, you can come here, what it takes, how much it costs. And we'll just learn one or two things on how she made it happen. Aren't you guys curious? I am. So Mama, you'll tell me just two things about you that people don't know about. I'm not sure there is much people don't know about me. Yeah. The people who know me. Yeah. So um, I, know, I know you're an agriculturalist. Yes. And that's why you've come up with this incredible, gorgeous garden that you've had here for the last 20 years? About yes. About yes. Yes. Uh, talk to me just a little bit about your background. I'm trained in agriculture. Okay. And I've worked in development oh. uh, for many years. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we were working, especially when I was working in Southern Africa, that's when we got exposed to the concept of guest houses okay. because we used to travel quite a bit for work. Okay. And that's when we real I realized when I retired that this is something one can do because okay. I enjoyed mm -hmm. uh, work, living with people mm -hmm. and that's how this uh, place got started. Okay. Yeah, we held the first wedding now more than 17 years ago mm -hmm. and but we started working here seriously five about five years ago okay yeah so did you did you see the end at the time or when you're purchasing this land no <laughs> okay we bought this place as uh, my retirement home okay but uh, in the middle of it we realized the house was a bit too big okay and we could use it to have guests mm -hmm. come in and as I said, we had a wedding way back. Mm -hmm. So we realized that uh, because of the grounds is something we could use okay. also for weddings and people who want to come and relax, okay. work away from uh, their home, okay. that sort of thing. All right. Yes. So you did the landscaping. Your son mentioned a lot about the art pieces in the house. The, you were in the process of creating this beautiful space, as is the house and the gardens. Yeah. Um, could you just talk to me about even you're passionate about art as well um i, I guess i'm a scientist but with the uh, an artistic and design interest okay yes yeah, so the, the the gardens are something i enjoy mm -hmm. the plants are something i even before i am a corrector mm -hmm. and i i want to correct things that um, people can enjoy mm -hmm. but at the same time like one of the things we are doing now is to to do landscaping with edible plants or, or plants which produce food okay. so you enjoy them both from the way you enjoy watching them as the same time you can use them for nutrition okay so that's one of the things we are combining in this space okay yeah 
so I mean, as you were globe trotting many years ago, yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah. uh, in all these countries your son mentioned, yes, this was such a clever idea. I, I think you can just give our viewers, you know, maybe advice on how to acquire land and and what that means meant for you at the time, because I didn't think you it it, it it it's what you thought it would be now, yeah. but it's it's a fantastic retirement plan for people who would want to acquire land and do something similar to this. I, I guess as everybody plans for their future, you think, I mean, after work, the, what else can you do? Yeah. And, and I think a lot of us, we think about farming. Yeah. But I, I, I realized that I didn't want to do farming per se, but to do something related to, to agriculture. So I, you know, as one is growing up and you are looking around and you are thinking of, of the future, you, you look for opportunities because that is what uh, what we did and you see something nice and you know you can make it into something yes. that can create for you enjoyment and a livelihood at the same time. At the same time. It brings yeah. you money and a you get to get to work <laughs> in this gorgeous <laughs> garden every day. So pretty. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good job. Yes. So Caroline, you'll tell us how much this place cost to have a wedding package for those guys who uh, want to have their weddings here, maybe. Um, and what it, it would, I mean, if you, what packages do you have? How can people make the booking? Um, you can briefly just tell us how much it costs and what, and what, what are your booking? Uh, where can people go to if they want to make any bookings? Uh, we have different packages for weddings as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we love Zerenity is where you can have your getaway weddings and private, intimate private parties. Uh, we have different grounds, three named after our very beautiful trees mm -hmm. that you've seen. Mm -hmm. We have frangipani, jacaranda and pine mm -hmm. coming all the way, mm -hmm. which can accommodate the people that you would want. And uh, we have a package from ranging from in between 130 to 160, depending with the package that you take. We have the golden platinum package and uh, it's a one-stop shop because we have accommodation where the bride, the groom and her team and their team can come, dine, stay before the wedding, have the wedding here, the bride is picked from here, from the house, okay. the lounge practically... Did you say the... they don't have to come from up country or their homes, they can actually, they can, they can. the bride can be picked here from... Exactly. Oh, that is a nice... Yeah, it's, that's why Zerenity provides and you encompasses with, everything. Yeah, encompasses everything. The lounge comes in as your home, where your mom, your dad is there to see the bride get out. They are there to make you feel comfortable. You, you actually feel like you are in your own home. Nice. So Zerenity, the getaway place, the place to be picked from, the bride feels comfortable with her team. Yes. The groom as well is here. Mm -hmm. They come in, pick the bride. And you have a beautiful ceremony. You stay here after the wedding is done. You don't have to hustle. You don't have to worry uh, where is my food coming yes. from. We do the cooking from here, the caterers. Okay. Here we provide everything, the photo shoot package. Mm -hmm. And we also have a product where people can come and wind as ladies. We have the picnic sites. Our gardens offer that, mm -hmm. which is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. You come, women empowerment programs, we also offer that. We have a penthouse down here where you can come as staycation, you can work from here mm -hmm. as a team, as a group. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can, yeah, you enjoy the fresh air as you work and as you unwind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like this. Sounds like yeah. this. Very serene. Yeah. It's a staycation. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a it's a getaway. Yes. It's a place for you to come and have your wedding here. Sure. And it's it is everything anybody would anyway. wish as far as love is concerned. Getaway, yeah. it's a hidden gem as well. You just said it. You yeah. packed it so well. Yeah. So where can people make their bookings? Uh book bookings at Zerenity. Mm -hmm. Well, your website is Zerenity? Zerenity House mm -hmm. is our website. Mm -hmm. You can also find us on our social media pages, our Facebook, 
and Instagram. Okay. And our email address. Oh, nice. Yes. So can you give a, a couple, um, yeah. a, 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 maybe a something, a, maybe a lunch sure. voucher or something? Mm -hmm. um, they can answer one question. Where is it located? Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Because I know it's one hour away from the city. Mm -hmm. So that we can entice our people to... Ah, sure, sure. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so uh, find out, uh, mm -hmm. go to their website, find out where Zerenity is located mm -hmm. and you could win yourself lunch for two on sure. Valentine's Day. Sure. They can that's do it on Valentine's deal. Day? That's on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. um, send your answers to my Instagram page at Miss Nylon Tay and on Twitter at Nylon Tay Kenga. And yay! Enjoy your Valentine's. There you go. That's what Art of Living does. We discover these hidden gems just for you. Thank you guys for watching.